education of public officials and the ruling elite started in Russia over 200 years ago at the Imperial Lyceum located in Sarske Selo near St. Petersburg. The Northwest Institute of Management of the Presidential Academy inherited traditions born during the reign of Alexander I. The institute builds on the best practices in the Soviet education system and in the modern universities, and this is the path it has been following in the last 25 years. There is a view that a good university is a university whose graduates work in the field that corresponds to their degree. I have a different view. In my opinion, the institute should train its students in a way that would allow them to be successful in any chosen profession. The institute enrolls not just the quality applicants, but people who are ready to take responsibility and be a leader. It explains why the institute is among the key competitors in the educational market for the best applicants. The Academy of Public Administration, which was founded in St. Petersburg 25 years ago, has since then made great progress. In these years, nearly 40,000 students have graduated from this institution. Today, the institute comprises six faculties and educates 8,000 students annually, for whom the career starts already before the graduation. I am sure that the education you received at the institute will help build a modern Russia, free and democratic state, respecting the rule of law. The institute graduates join commercial companies and government agencies. Every year, over 7,000 students attend short-term advanced training courses for public officials. The institute closely cooperates with administrations of St. Petersburg and Leningrad region. Your institute trains qualified young professionals who our country needs in order to build a competitive economy and effective system of public administration. This is what your institute does perfectly well. Many of your graduates are making successful careers in committees and agencies of St. Petersburg government. The Institute's motto is, our graduates run the country. And this is rightly so, because many senior government officials, public and municipal servants, have graduated from this institute. Over 600 students have worked as interns in the governmental agencies of the Leningrad region. I know that some students, who made a very good impression by their approach to work, were invited to join the ranks of our staff upon graduation. The institute employs the most experienced and qualified faculty, who are both scholars and practitioners. Under a special scheme at the institute, current public officials lead educational programs that were designed in cooperation with state and business organizations. There are days when we start with teaching classes to students and then we continue with the meetings of the Commission of Control for Anti-Monopoly Legislation. In other words, real work and training of students are truly connected at this place. The Institute is open to innovations in research and teaching techniques. It encourages its faculty to learn the world's best practices and utilize the resources of a wide network of partners that the Institute has. At the moment, the Institute has more than 40 partners in different countries. We look at what is best and in demand around the world and integrate this into our teaching and research. Therefore, we look at the best standards, for example, in Malaysia or the United States, without any prejudice. By confronting the challenges and introducing new models, taking the best from its predecessors, the Institute becomes a leading institution in the field of public policy and administration. The Northwest Institute of Management of Presidential Academy is open to everything new and progressive. Thus, we are convinced that the Institute will remain competitive in the constantly changing and globalizing world. The Institute is 25. There is a memorial tablet on the top of El Bruce. <laughs>